BPM bullets per minute review in 500 words or less. Let's go. So I previewed this game not too long ago, so check that out for a comparison. So finally this game is being fully released on the 15th of September for 20 euro, but it will have a launch day discount. BPM is a rhythm based roguelite FPS and I can safely say it will be in my top 10 best games of the year. It just works. You can do an action, jumping, dashing, shooting and reloading on the full beat and some guns can be shot on the half beat. Now I don't want to just reiterate what I said in the preview, but this game is fun, plain and simple. It's a fecking blast to play. Now I have access to all the levels, the game isn't just full red. There's also a green grey tint to some floors. The music is phenomenal, each floor is a different track and as the kids would say, they slap. I can't believe I just said that but moving on, I was mostly worried about the gameplay variety when I finished the preview, but I'm glad to report that there are so many different weapons and items to make each run feel unique. Now it doesn't feel as diverse as something like the Binding of Isaac Rebirth at launch, but the gameplay is so engaging that I can look past this. And that isn't mentioning the four different characters, one of which I haven't unlocked because I'm not good enough. One character is a mage that has unlimited ammo, but only 50 health, so when you play this character you play differently. Again, I can't see the game having hundreds of hours of content, but it will definitely have 20 plus as of right now. Now the enemy designs in the later levels are still pretty unimpressive, but I really like the boss designs. The boss fights are pretty underwhelming, and I can beat them with ease on the base difficulty. There are loads of items to find and there is room for a bit of synergy here and I ended up creating some crazy runs with an unlimited ammo minigun. It's moments like this that make or break roguelikes for me. I enjoy the initial struggle, but the payoff at the end with an OP run and your increased skill is the reason I keep playing these games. I still haven't discovered everything in the game and I can see myself going back to play a couple of runs a week to see what's around the next corner. Out of all the indie games I've reviewed on this channel, this is the first must buy. I think a good bit of the game is lost through video and you just have to experience it for yourself. That's 484 words, I hope you enjoyed the video, let me know if you're going to buy this game, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all on the next video.